This is a video to talk about how to find the surface area of a cylinder. And here's our cylinder and it's got a height of h and a radius of r. And just remember that sometimes you get the diameter and if you have the diameter you have to divide it by 2 to get the radius. To think of surface area you have to take the cylinder and break it down into two dimensional view. For the two dimensional view you see you have two circles to make up the top and the base. You have to find the areas of those circles and we know that from our formula for area of a circle it's pi r squared. And then you have to take the middle part, the outside of the cylinder, and as you can see it's a rectangle and if you think of a uh, can and taking the label off very carefully, if you did, you'd end up with a rectangle and one side would be the length and it would be the height of the cylinder and the other side you'd have to would be the piece that wrapped all the way around and it would represent the circumference of that can, so the width would be 2 pi r. So you put all that together, those areas, and you end up with an equation for surface area that's two circles, so 2 pi r squared, plus the length and width of the rectangle, so 2 pi r times h. And this is what it looks like right here. So let's try a few example problems. Here's our cylinder, and it has a height of 12 inches and a radius of 4 inches. So we're going to take our formula, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, and plug in our r of 4 and r h of 12. And when you do this on the calculator, you'll get for the two circles about 100, and for the rectangle about 300. You add them together, and you end up with 402.1248. We're going to round to the nearest whole number, so that's going to be 402 square inches. Remember, surface area is an area, so your units are going to be inches or feet or yards squared, so units squared. Okay, let's look at our next example. All right, here's our cylinder, and our cylinder has a diameter of 20 feet and a height of 16 feet. So if the diameter is 20 feet, we have to divide that by 2 to come up with our radius, which is 10 feet. So when we look at our formula, we want to know what's the surface area of this cylinder. We've got 2 pi r squared, so 2 times pi times r times r, and then 2 times pi times r times h. Plug in our r of 10 and plug in our um, h of 16, and we end up with the two circles together being about 628, and that uh, rectangle, that piece that wraps all the way around the outside being a little over a thousand. And all together, we add them up, we get 1,633.6. We're going to round that to the nearest whole number. That 6 is going to make the 3 in the 1 spot round up to a 4. So you have 1,634 square feet. Remember, our units are squared. So we take this, and we think, okay, so the next thing is how many gallons of paint would you need to cover this tank? If we want to cover the entire tank, with paint. So one gallon of paint covers about 300 square feet. So we have our surface area of 1,634 square feet that we calculated in the last problem, the last page. We divide it by 300 square feet per gallon and the square feet are going to cancel out and are going to end up with gallons. And we get an answer of 5.446 repeating gallons, and you can't buy parts of a gallon at the store, so you're going to have to round up and get six gallons. Okay, one last thing to talk about. Say this tank is sitting on the ground, and you don't actually want to paint the bottom of the tank, because no one's going to see it, so you're only going to paint the top and the sides of the tank. How many gallons of paint do you need then? Okay, so let's look at that 2D view again. Okay, we have, this. we have a surface area of 1,634 square feet, but we don't want to do the base here. So we're going to take the area of the base and we're going to subtract it out. We're going to subtract pi r squared, the area of the base. So pi r squared is 3.1416 times r r of 10 times 10. We're going to subtract out 314.16 feet squared. And when we do, we end up with 1,320 square feet. Take that and divide it by 300 again, uh, square feet per gallon, and we end up with 4.4 .4 gallons. And you, how many gallons are we going to need then to buy? Again, we can't buy 0.4 of a gallon, 
So we're going to end up with needing five gallons. Well, I hope that this video helps a little bit with understanding how to find the surface area of a cylinder and you'll find some success in doing these problems in the future.